Hello everyone, I hope you are having a lovely weekend. So I checked my mailbox a little late on Sunday and apparently I got two boxes yesterday even though I thought I wasn't expecting anything. I am probably the last person still though to receive my Allure Beauty Box. This generally comes at the end of the month but mine's even later than most people's. I don't know what's going on but it's pretty much always worth it like worth the wait I mean. So if you're unfamiliar with the Lair Beauty Box, this is a beauty subscription like the name suggests. Uh, you get it once a month, generally at the end of the month, and it's $10 for your first month and then $15 a month thereafter. And we have gotten like full-size Sunday Riley products and stuff in there before, like Sunday Riley products that haven't even been released, other full-size makeup items, so it's generally really awesome. So. Since I have um, received this later than others, I have watched some videos, so I have a good idea of what's in here. So I'm gonna try on the majority of the products. I'm not gonna try on the skincare. So I put like the base of my face on, like I have some foundation on, a little bit of blush and stuff like that. But anyway, so I'm gonna show you everything that comes in here and then we will try it on. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. There's always a little pamphlet with a model on top. And in this pamphlet, it just tells you more about all of the products. Uh, I guess it says Stronger Together. I think that is a theme this month. Um, I'm not going to read all that. Look how lengthy it is. And I'm sure you guys don't like listening to me read because I suck at speaking. But I'm going to keep this nearby to look at pricing and all of that. Uh, and then there is a $25 gift uh, using code ALER25 at Gorjana or Gorhana. Uh, so that's just like a little coupon that's in there. And um, as of last month now, the Allure Beauty Box has come in these little bags. Last month was red, this month is black. I actually like the black. So um, these are good for like travel and stuff. I honestly haven't used my red bag yet, but I like this one. So it has snap closures. So I am going to just pull the first thing I notice, and this is a sheet mask. This is by Mimande or Mimand. I've never heard of this brand before. I think it's K-Beauty just judging by the print on here. It says Flower Lab Essence Mask and this is in rose and it says um, Mimande or whatever the name of the brand is reinvents beauty by cultivating the power and energy derived from flowers. With a more Pacific botanical gardens lives Mamandi Garden where we study the wisdom of nature revealing the energy and flowers that enhance beauty. So this is hydrating um, it's like a serum type apparently. So the packaging is really cute and I really like rose um, items and the scent and everything about it. So I am excited about that. So let me see if there's any other information here that's useful. So this mask is $7 and it is a K-Beauty sheet mask. So um, each of the products is like a woman feature here and they talk about why they love the product. I don't think it really gives you um, like exact descriptions or anything, it's just their opinion. Uh, and, and I wonder if they each chose these themselves, but they said this is a super hydrating mask, so I know we can all use a little extra hydration this time of year. And there's also another product by this company, this is the Petal Spot Oil to Foam Flower Rose Wash, I think, is this a cleanser? An oil cleansing foam for quick and easy cleansing that gently dissolves makeup with oil and forms a rich rather with water. Cool, so this is 25 ml, so I don't think this is a full size item. Um, so in Allure, uh, I did mention you get some full size, but you also get like deluxe sample sizes as well. So the full size of this is $21. It looks like you can use Allure 30 as a code to receive 30% off this. Uh, and this was recommended because uh, the person that recommended this used to use two washes, face washes to cleanse, but they say this just does it all in one step, so. Wow, she's dedicated to her skincare routine, two steps. <laughs> okay, now let's get into the makeup stuff. I think the rest is makeup. So here we have a Monoco Metallic Eyeshadow Trio. So that is the outer packaging. I think the focus of my camera might be a little off, so I apologize if this isn't focusing well. Ooh. So this is what we will be using in just a little bit. So this is a trio, and that is what it looks like. My focuser is like in that corner of the screen, um, and it won't let me change it, so that's why I'm holding it like a little off center. Um, I hope you guys can see that. So it looks like there's two like satin finishes and then a glitter. Let's see, or metallics, I should say. Um, there's a burgundy, a pinky champagne, and a brown. 
So I think we'd be able to create a good look with this, hopefully. I don't usually wear like too many burgundy colors, but this looks pretty. Uh, this is $15. You can use code ALERT18 at checkout at modelco.com to receive 30% off your order. So I am excited to try this. Let's swatch it. So there are the colors. We'll use that in a little bit. Next up is an item that I actually have, but it's pretty old and I haven't tried it in a while. So um, this is the Brow Gale, uh, the Instant Brow Hair O2 Tinted Brow Gel with Microfibers. And this is in, uh, yeah, okay, so the color is Brown Hair O2. And I received this in um, another subscription box a while ago. Maybe it was, I wanna say, it could have been BoxyCharm. But this is the exact same one. So I'm gonna try the one I have opened already. Um, it's pretty old, so I probably should replace it. It does say the shelf life is 12 months. I have no idea when I got mine. So I'll try it out, and if I like it, I'm going to keep the new one. If, if I don't, if it's like too dark for my hair color, I will put it in a future giveaway. Which, by the way, forgot to mention, I have a giveaway ending in just a few days. My 2,000 subscriber giveaway that will be linked down in the description box if you have not yet entered. You definitely should check it out. Um, but moving on, oh, a brush. So this is, uh, let's see, by Moda. This is an interesting shape. It's soft, though. I like the, how it's gold. Isn't that pretty? Um, but can you guys see that, like, I'm not sure if you can really tell, but you can see it's, like, kind of slanted here. Oh, yeah, it's so soft. But I need to read about this. So this is the Moda Metallics Triad Eye Brush, and this is $4.99. It says, this soft, precise shading brush is the holy grail of eyeshadow brushes. It does so many different things really well. It makes any eyeshadow look its most vibrant. So one colleague uses, one colleague uses it with pastels and brights. It's also perfect for contouring. Use it to sweep brown shadow across your crease or over the outer third of your lid to give any eye makeup look added depth. My favorite way to use it is brushing my everyday taupe over my lids. It makes the brown shade richer and creates a sexily smoked out effect. Sexily, I didn't know that was a word. But okay, we'll be using this in a little bit. I love eyeshadow brushes. And then we have a lippy, good. I feel so naked right now without a lip product on. Um, this is by Mally. This is an orchid. It's a high shine liquid lipstick. And that is what that looks like. Again, I apologize if my camera's not focused on my face even. I'm gonna try and fix it one more time. Okay, I think I fixed the focus problem on my camera. I am so sorry, I won't know until I edit if it was like blurry or anything this whole video. Hopefully I don't have to redo this or post a bad quality video. But anyways, um, hopefully now you could see this. So it's like a, like the name is just like an orchid color. Let's swatch a little bit of this. Whoa, look how funky the brush is. Can you guys see that? Again, I don't think it comes through on camera, but the brush hairs are like all over the place. What? This might be hard to apply. I mean, it's just like a really nice gloss. That looks so funny. wonder what happened there. Oh, it has a nice like scent to it, a sweet scent. So that is the swatch on the bottom again. I will try it on in just a bit. And then um, there's one more thing. And this is by Wander Beauty, a brand I really like. And I have not tried this item. This is um, the Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. I've tried one of their mascaras before that I received in a BoxyCharm and I really, really did like it. Um, so it's kind of shiny. I'm not sure if you can see the print of it, but I like the packaging, it's gold. Oh, I didn't tell you the price of the lipstick. One second. The lippy um, is $21, so you can get it at qbc.com. Cool. And then this Wonder Beauty mascara is $26. And let's see what the wand looks like. That is the wand. Pretty basic. Um, we'll see how it applies. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a mirror and let's try on this makeup. I zoomed you in a little bit so you could see better. I apologize if I'm sweating. I always say this, but it's hot here. <laughs> All right, so let's start with the eyeshadow quad, or quad, I'm so used to saying that, trio. So this is by Monaco, like I said. So I'm thinking I'll put the brown in my crease and then that like um, burgundy color in the outer corner and then the shimmer in the inner corner. So again, 
That is what it looks like. Hopefully it's focusing better than it did before. Okay. And those are the swatches. I'm not sure how it looked before. I, again, I apologize if it was awful. So I'm gonna take that brown shade and with the Moda brush and put that in my crease. Well, this is kind of, has a lot of pick up. So. This brush is kind of odd. It's like pretty precise. I'm going to take another brush and just kind of blend that out a little bit. I think this is, this brush is better for like precise application more so. I mean, if you're just trying to swipe like a very like, like small amount in your crease, it's good for that too. But I'm going to use the same brush and dip into that darker shader, shade on the burgundy and use that in my outer corner. Yes, I, I think this brush, due to its shape, is perfect for doing the outer corner. It's actually probably going to be my go-to for that now. Uh, but anyways, moving on, I'm going to now use the lightest shade in my inner corner. Now that I have my eyeshadow on, I am going to try out the mascara. I feel like the eyeshadow is kind of like losing some of its pigment already, but I don't know. I'll see what it looks like in the end. Or maybe I didn't pack on and off in the outer corner. It's still really pretty though. I like all the colors together, but I'm not sure if you guys can tell. I'm sorry again if this um, picture isn't great. So that is the mascara. I just use one coat. Um, you can see this is the eye with and without. Um, I like it. It's not the most lengthening mascara in the world, but then again, I also don't have um, much many eyelashes to begin with. Uh, they're very short and very blonde, so I think the difference is good. Um, I will add another coat and see if that does anything. Adding a second coat does add some volume, but I don't see any added length. Okay, now I am going to try the brow gel. So mine um, is a little bit older, like I said, but this is what the wand looks like. Now I'm just going to do it very lightly over my brows just because I'm not sure if this color will be too dark. It. I'm gonna do the other brow. It's really quick. If the, you just need like something really quick out the door, you know, this definitely does it. And when, if it lasts long, that would make it perfect. Alright, I think I do like the brow product, so that's awesome. Now the last thing to try is the Liquid Lip by Mally, which has this weird applicator. Again, I want to see if you guys can see those little bristles coming out. I really like this too. Um, the bristles are weird, but since it's a gloss, it's easy to apply as it is. It's just really perfect for every day. 
It does have a scent, and I like the scent, like a fruity type scent. So overall, I think this is a really good box. I haven't tried the skincare yet, obviously, um, but I do love rose scented things, and I love sheet masks, so that's awesome. Um, my makeup, I'm looking at now, and I like that eye look. I generally only use three eyeshadows when I do my makeup. I don't really do too much uh, of an extensive look, so I don't mind getting a trio, especially because then you know all the colors are complementary. And I do like it. Um, it's not like super, super pigmented. Maybe if you used a wet brush or something like that, it would be um, more so, but I, I think I like it. And the mascara is fine. It's nothing um, spectacular, it works. Uh, sometimes mascaras are a little bit better after like a week or so of using it. It's just like a little wet right now, but I like it. And I think my brows look good. I like the lipstick or the liquid lipstick or gloss, whatever it is. Uh, the brush, I didn't like it for my crease, but I did like it for the outer corner. So that's an A+. Plus. So yeah, overall, I think Allure did it again. It's a great box. So you have to let me know. Did you like your box? Do you get this? If you do not yet get it, I will definitely leave their website down below if you want to check it out or subscribe. And I will also leave my giveaway link along with all of my social media handles. You can pretty much find me there all the time. I am glued to my phone. It's really pathetic, but it's true. <laughs> but anyways, I hope this video quality is okay. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.